Mental health is an integral part of our general health and well-being and a basic human right. Having good mental health means we are better able to connect, function, cope and thrive. This year's ministerial roundtable discussion at the regional committee is focusing on mental health. Mental health conditions continue to exert a heavy toll on people's lives, while mental health systems and services remain ill-equipped to meet people's needs. Member states of WHO Southeast Asia region are steadily driving the agenda of mental health forward, making positive progress, yet more is to be done. WHO Regional Office for Southeast Asia has continued to provide technical support and guidance to address the challenges faced by member states to improve mental health of their populations. A regional collaborative framework for coordinated response to mental health and psychosocial support MHPSS, in emergencies was activated in 2020 in the wake of the COVID-19 pandemic. The framework identifies six domains of action through which member states can strengthen services for MHPSS support. This includes integration of MHPSS into the national policy and legal framework, building resilience, establishing linkages and collaborative mechanisms, developing comprehensive and integrated responses, and strengthening information systems, evidence and research. In 2021, under the guidance of the Regional Director Dr. Poonam Khetrapal Singh, the Regional Office launched a mental well-being portal for its staff to communicate, share information and support each other, a platform of its kind in WHO to support the mental health of WHO staff working across the region. Member states of the region are making steady progress. In Bangladesh, a telepsychiatry unit established at the National Institute of Mental Health enables health workers from primary care centers to link with consultant psychiatrists to manage users at primary care level. In Bhutan, the high-level mental health multi-sectoral steering committee formed under Her Majesty the Queen's Secretariat will be strengthening and streamlining all mental health related interventions across all relevant agencies in the country. In DPR Korea, increasing priority is being provided for mental health. In India, mental health services are integrated into the primary level through the district mental health program through outreach services at community health centers and primary care level. Operational guidelines on mental, neurological and substance use disorders at health and wellness center have been released under the Ayushman Bharat, which defines the role of multiple cadres of primary health workers, including ASHAs. In Indonesia, following the passing of the disability law in 2018, Mental health has been associated with disability and rights as well. This enabled non-health sectors to gain more interest in mental health and mainstream into their program. In Maldives, the government is currently planning to revitalize primary health care services through dedicated primary health care teams within different levels of health centers where mental health professionals are included as part of this team. In 2019, a special center focusing on mental health was established at state-run Indira Gandhi Memorial Hospital in capital city Malé, which increased accessibility during COVID-19 restrictions. In Myanmar, the Myanmar Epilepsy Initiative is a pioneer project providing community-based epilepsy care covering nearly two-thirds of townships countrywide. This has increased access to epilepsy treatment substantially and is expected to reduce the treatment gap significantly. In Nepal, through the WHO Special Initiative for Mental Health, provincial and district mental health systems strengthening is currently underway. Among its actions is the development and implementation of district-focused national mental health care program. This program is implemented in 14 of 77 districts of the country to support primary care and secondary care mental health services. In Sri Lanka, 
primary care mainly carries out detection referral to secondary care. Primary care reforms aims to train all doctors to treat mental health conditions at primary care as well. At present, doctors given a three-month training on mental health are posted within the primary care network. They coordinate preventive activities and work closely with other sectors such as education and social services. In Thailand, the Community Mental Health Vaccine Initiative was created for responding to the COVID-19 pandemic through supporting people's mental and psychosocial needs at the community level, which aimed to include safety, calmness, hopefulness, social connectedness. Low-cost recommend activities embedded in community networks were guided by leaders in the community. Evaluations have found this program successful in increasing community resilience. In Timor-Leste, the National Mental Health Strategic Plan 2018-2022 was developed and includes issues related also to alcohol and violence. These are some of the country's specific highlights. Yet, there is a long way to go in fulfilling the promise to leave no one behind. This year's Ministerial Roundtable provides that opportunity to further discuss and deliberate solutions on the challenges. WHO will be at the forefront in guiding and helping the member states of the region to accelerate, innovate and sustain our efforts. Join us to make a difference to improve mental health and well-being of all in the WHO Southeast Asia region.